My name is Omar Paz. I'm the lead organizer at North Bay Jobs with Justice. We're a grassroots coalition made up of community organizations, labor councils, student leaders, and grassroots activists who fight for immigrant, low-wage workers of color in Sonoma and Marin counties. I'm here today to talk to you about two of our biggest projects this year. In Sonoma County and surrounding areas like Napa, Marin, and Mendocino, we've experienced an unprecedented near annual series of forest fires in the North Bay, a global pandemic, and attacks on our local immigrant communities by the federal administration. We partnered with indigenous and immigrant farm worker service organizations, as well as legal service providers to develop local rapid response efforts that protect the most vulnerable families in our communities. Now, more than ever, we need the support of our elected officials, our community service partners, and employers in all essential service or sectors to rise to the occasion and support our workers and their families. Our Deca Lotus program started in 2016 to address the ICE rates by the federal administration and teach workers their rights when it came to ICE in the workplace. But now we've adapted to promote the paid sick leave ordinances that have been passed at the local, state, and federal levels, which are one of the few benefits that are incentivizing shelter in place for our immigrant workers. The Latino community in Sonoma County has faced disproportionate impacts of the coronavirus. They make up over 78% of positive cases, and being the majority of essential workers in agriculture, this is one of their major risk factors, as well as in closed spaces in the restaurant industry, service industry, and others. We provide bilingual presentations virtually or in community spaces that are safe while following COVID guidelines. Our efforts support workers and their employers in modeling regular safety education and reinforcing messaging to socially distance and wear your masks. We need all hands on deck to keep each other safe and protected because in this crisis, we're only as safe as our most vulnerable community members. And now I want to talk about our Farm Worker Safety Coalition. Sonoma County has faced near annual wildfires in 2017, 2019, and now with the Wall Bridge and Glass Fires 2020. Our entire community has suffered the devastating impacts that wildfires and climate change have brought to our doorstep. From emergency evacuations to wildfire smoke and ash to losing homes, our first responders, public officials, and community organizations have persevered. However, the impacts of these climate disasters have affected our essential immigrant, indigenous, and workers of colors the most. In partnership with local experts and trusted community advocates, the Farm Worker Safety Coalition formed in August to address the inequities faced by essential farm workers. Workers harvest grapes, produce, and livestock through red flag level heat, wildfire smoke, and at the risk of exposure to COVID-19, let alone the fear that they have during the federal administration and their immigration enforcement. Our goal is to collaborate with community leaders to address shortfalls in wildfire disaster response by county agencies, employers, and community by creating an advisory committee that gives the farm workers, employers, and county perspective on all relevant safety policies. We want to work with the community to make sure our workers are kept safe, that their lives are valued, that their work is seen, and that they are treated just like any other member of the community and not exploited at the cost of profit over their lives. We know that the power to stay safe and protected is in a united community. In times of crisis, we must be resilient, compassionate, and creative to keep our communities thriving while facing adversity head on. We must honor and support our workers who are keeping food on our plates 
despite the global pandemic and natural disasters. We at North Bay Jobs with Justice thank you from the bottom of our hearts for continuing to support our work. Find out more about our work at NorthBayJobsWithJustice.org or you can visit SoCoUnitedInCrisis.org. Thank you and thank you to our essential workers.